Let's go ahead and jump right into business. Good morning, Mike Apple. I have been far too talkative on this Friday. I'm going to let you get right into it. What are we talking about today? Uh, well, let's start with um, the retail numbers that were in this morning, Sarah, which showed an economy that was, uh, well, closed for the month of April. You couldn't shop other than uh, going to maybe a grocery store or a pharmacy or online. So uh, retail spending was down by a record-breaking 26%. According to StatsCan, every sector was down. Auto sales down about 50%. But then you look at, again, changing trends. And you wonder why Amazon was at a record high for its share price. Uh, E-commerce numbers jumped 120% year over year for April. If people, you know, if they were doing any shopping, it was online. And I'd love to see the demographic. Was that young people, old people, you know, middle-aged? I don't know. It, it, I think it'd have to be basically a new trend that uh, will likely continue here, even as stores reopen. So they're, they're saying things are rebounding for me. Let's talk about some rising tensions this morning. Yeah, the uh, Chinese government officially indicting Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig, the uh, two Canadians who've been in detention in China for now 557 days, dating back to late 2018. Um, they're now charged with spying and assorted other things. And this has been this back and forth with the uh, arrest of... Uh, Meng Wanzhou, the Huawei chief executive officer in BC, you know, Canada saying that was a retaliation move by the Chinese to arrest the two Michaels. China says, no, it's not. And a scary stat, NBC was actually reporting this this morning, that um, people uh, charged with this in China, 99% conviction rate. So, I mean, from a diplomatic standpoint and a trade standpoint, these uh, are these are massive, massive implications. And the uh, federal government probably has something to say about this coming up today. Not a happy Friday for them. Have a good no. weekend, okay, Mike? We'll see you on Thank Monday. Thank you. Okay. Looking forward to it.